that the child is the father of the man, is that in our head, we create a little voice, a little kind of image sometimes, of an inner parent. And that inner parent um, is not necessarily that mature, because the inner parent is you've copied your parents, so you have a little kind of voice inside that you think is a parent, but it's not. It's about five years old. Now, some of it might be a little older, but so much of what we perceive as our inner parent is actually, if you like, a very kind of immature parent. And I think that that's why psychology is such an important thing. But if that inner voice, as I mentioned earlier, says effectively to you, um, you're not enough, you don't deserve this, you know, you sh you, you're not allowed to relax, you need to work harder, you're lazy. If that voice also can be in there, that sometimes can be a slightly unhelpful or deluded voice. And often we're not aware of that, and we could have just picked it up by mistake. Or we could have picked it up because sometimes we had, you know, not the greatest parenting, it's hard to know. But often there is a whole bunch of unhelpful beliefs that are floating around as well. So that's why I like this, the child is the father of the man. Because from my perspective, what that means is that the little voice in your head that tells you you must or you should isn't necessarily an adult voice. It's a child's voice. And once you understand that, it gives you more choices about what you do and what you feel and what you believe. Yeah? Because things that you may take to be true may not be. 